Hey, what's up guys? It's me again. And today I'll be opening these Mega Man blind boxes. These are by the Loyal Subjects. They are very articulated little minifigures. Now I've opened some of these before. They were Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, but that has been years ago. I have not actually had any Loyal Subject stuff for a long time. But I found these at Walmart in the clearance aisle for $3 and said, why not? Hard to pass these up at $3 since they usually retail for $15 to $20. But here is three different sides of the box. You can see most of the characters you can get. This is the front and I will flip to the only side that wasn't showing before, which shows some more of the characters. Most of the characters are 2 and 12. These are all 2 and 12. These are all 2 and 12. And then this back panel shows you the rare ones. 1 in 96 for Mega Man X. 1 in 48 for the black and white one. Gold edition just says 1. But let's start tearing into these and see which characters we get. To be honest, I liked Mega Man. I played Mega Man more as a kid. But it really doesn't matter to me which characters I get. I mean, they all look pretty cool. And to pick these up for such a good price, I'll be happy with any of them. Okay, and our first one is that Battle Damaged Proto Man, which to be honest is one of the ones that I thought looked really cool. I really like this shield. So you actually get optional parts to put on him. See, these are pretty much little articulated action figures. Oh, and you get a little collector card here with him. It's got a little read up on it. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can pull his arm off and get his cannon on, because of course you want him displayed with the cannon. Okay, so there he is with his cannon on his arm, shield in hand. That was not easy to get that cannon on there. Very tight fit, but it is on there very good now. But on these for articulation, their heads are on a ball joint. Shoulders are actually on a ball joint. Then you have a bend at the elbow it would bend more, but that cannon's kind of catching. The legs are on a ball joint. They'll go up, forward, and back. And the feet are also on a ball joint, but you kind of can't work it because the way these pieces here are made. I like the cape on the back. So pretty cool first pull. Now let's get into our second box, see who else we can score. Okay, and our second one is the same exact guy. Go figure. Of course, they were 2 and 12 odds on that one, so... Moving right on to number three. Imagine he will be someone different since it is two and 12 odds, not three and 12. Awesome, nice, we got Zero, which is another one I really like. He also came with several accessories, so I'll get them put on him. Okay, and with Zero, you get two swords and a cannon. I really wanted the cannon on his arm, so he can only hold one of the swords. So you're gonna have to choose which one you like better, a sword or a cannon. Which if you choose the swords, then you get no cannons, but if you choose the cannon, you at least get one sword still. So I went with one of each. This is the Battle Damage Zero, very cool looking one. I like the hair coming out of the helmet. Got all that battle damage on him. Got like a gunshot in his arm there and his leg. But he has the same articulation as the other one, so I'm not gonna go over that, but. Yeah, a really nice detailed little figure. And I like that you can articulate these some. So, I dig them. So there's the two different characters we got from these Loyal Subjects Mega Man minifigures. We got Proto Man and Zero. Well, we actually got two of Proto Man. But these are very cool little minifigures. And like I said, these retail for $15 to $20. And I picked them up at my Walmart, clearanced out at $3 a piece. So if you've passed on these and been on the fence about them, wish you picked them up at full price, go check now because you may be able to pick you a couple up for three bucks a piece. And that way there's really no buyer's remorse, even if you get doubles. But that is all I have for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one. Bye for now.